Hello everyone! Since my last video about the SDR Play RSP1, showing it that I was able to install, download and install the software and make it work in less than two minutes, people were asking me if I did try it before. So no, that was not the case. I did add some experience with the SDR software before. Uh, but I never played with SDR Uno, you know, I never installed it before, never installed it on that machine. What I did after that, I also installed it on another machine and it took me about the same time. I didn't have no issue. So uh, it was very easy on both machines. They run Windows 10 up to date so and uh, it went very well. I didn't try with any other software. Uh, and I didn't try to sync it to with my HF radio. I'm not there yet. So maybe that will be a little bit more complicated. Even though uh, I did set it up in the past with another SDR uh, using uh, OmniRig to be able to sync my, my old HF radio, which was the FTDX3000. That was synced with uh, an RTL SDR. So like I said, as I remember, this was a little bit more complicated to set up. Uh, but uh, this one was very easy with SDR you know what I'm gonna do in this video so we're gonna go through the windows I'm now more familiar with the software so you will see that uh, it's a lot easier for me to manipulate the, uh, uh, the VFO change frequency and you know play with the, the thing also in my last video I was not able to record directly the audio of the receiving SDR uh, what you got is was from my mic actually I didn't I was not able to uh, record through the software correctly uh, it, like the input was too high or something so there was distortion so I need to play with that to see how can I set that up so I need to figure it out but on this video uh, I should get you uh, all the uh, the sound of the SDR so you can get a feel out it sounds like so it sounds actually pretty good uh, when I look at the band uh, on the um, spectrum of the SDR play and I look on the spectrum of my TS990 I don't see uh, not much of a difference between the two it's different in the display even though you can configure the uh, the uh, SDR play uh, image you get from the, the window the spectrum window uh, but um, there's what I wanted to say is that I don't see like birdies or noise that I don't see on the other so it seems to be very good in filtration but uh, like I said this is not scientific I just just the look of it you know uh, there was not like a birdie on the band or something that uh, I never had before when I used the SDR so that seems uh, very good like I said in my past video I was actually very impressed with this uh, with this SDR so this is the uh, uh, the new video about it, so I will show you, uh, like I said, uh, a little bit more the software and as I getting uh, getting uh, used to it right now. So, hope you enjoy and let's go. To make a quick start and learn quickly the SDR Uno you know software, you can go to that website with it nn4f.com and you go into SDR Play Guide and download the SDR Play cookbook. This is made by Paul NF4F and Mike KD2KOG. And uh, it's very nice. It's, it's, it's not a, a big document, so it's pretty easy to go through. And uh, from there, you see there's around uh, 30 page. And uh, from there, you can set up and understand pretty well the uh, SDR Uno interface. So let's start the SDR Uno. Hold on. There you go. So you will see that I'm pretty much familiar now after, after maybe around uh, an hour or two playing with the, uh, with the SDR Uno. So as you can see, when I opened the software, I did set it up uh, into this visual. So before you do anything, this is the, the screen that will start when you open the software for the first time. On this screen, you can configure multiple receiver okay I will only use two you, this the, you cannot do this when the SDR is playing you need to do that before and you can activate that receiver so then you have your AGC that I set it up on my side performance if you want uh, better performance it will use more CPU so that's the pen of your computer and uh, 
from there you have the basic setup also when I was uh, doing the first video uh, with the software I says the mouse wheel was in reverse that means when you roll up it goes down the frequency goes down and vice versa so you have a setup here in the main page go settings and you go in miscellaneous and you just click reverse mouse wheel and then it will be okay it will be when you scroll up it will go up when you scroll down it will go down so you can listen uh, on the frequency uh, on the same band for the two receiver okay because the SDR plays one receiver so it's one band at a time but you can set up two different frequencies so you can monitor split communication if you there's some DX or things like that so it's pretty useful and you can put one receiver at mute if you don't want uh, the receiver to interfere with the reception on the other side okay so first thing to do is to tar start the RX when you do the RX okay it will open this window and if you do it on the second receiver it will open this so what I'm gonna do just a second I'm just gonna put it as default so you can open all the window like this the second receiver you see the second receiver is this the first is zero zero the second is zero one and you can open this is another screen this is the audio spectrum that you will get sp1 is the rf spectrum sp2 is the audio spectrum same thing for the second receiver you can have the control bo uh, ma uh, band mode filtration everything frequency setup from here and s meter as well and the same thing if you click rx for the second receiver so every time you do this you can save your window configuration so whatever you like it to be you can use the window like this you can say the second receiver is going to be smaller hold on for the spectrum and then you you can fill up your screen like this so that's what i did uh, when i configured the second workplace so the first workplace is the default when you log in if you want to configure a new one what you need to do is you click control and you hold it down and left click on your mouse on the spot where you want your window to configure so you can set up up to 10 different uh, configuration uh, for your screen so I will use the configuration I made before and it will start over there when I boot up the next time so let's start the SDR play there you go okay so uh, this one is in mute hold on a second I need to drop down the volume a little so you see that I'm using now the main VFO if I unmute air you can see that I have two frequency if you scroll the frequency up air it will change and keep the same offset from the main receiver from the, 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 the other receiver the sub receiver if you want and but if you do that on the sub it won't change the main receiver so let's say I want to listen to broadcast. There's a broadcast uh, here. That is an FM. Okay. Right now we're in total, you know, Defcon 3, we you know, we'll look at it, uh, World War 3, we'll look at down the barrel and say, I know that you're the first to, to distract and understand that. Okay. But it's like when the, when the drill goes That's live, right. you know what I mean? It's that happens. Hold on, not right, right. People have to understand that, that these are humans. They make errors. I will mute there. So you can hear now the broadcast the station that's down there. Over to Russia with Def Cut. That only lasts and then I'm going to remove the mute so you see you can hear the other band. But this one is an AM, so it's less noisy. Hold on. You can also just mute it. <laughs> okay, like this. So let's go in where in USB. You see the audio uh, filter here. It's at uh, 20, 2700. If I put it to 24K, then you can see how it sounds like. You can have 2400, 12K. Let's let's stay it at uh, 2700. You can, you know, put it wider if you want, but. I pretty much like the 2700 okay so let's start so I'm gonna zoom here in the amateur band I'm a little bit too high hold on let's zoom here so let's bring it center 
It's the one with that. Okay, I'm in USB. November 59251, Delta Yankee. USL. Thank you. Look, Mike 7 Ocean, contest. Contest there. Echo Alpha 59252, Delta Yankee. Not too strong. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to switch it. I'm going to go. Echo Alpha 3, Echo Lima Zulu, 59. Two five two Delta Yankee. Uh, Roger, your five nine uh, zero zero one. Zero KS will be seven three. And thank you for checking in, Larry. We're seven three and he was it. Seven United Germany. Okay, let's go on forty meter. You see the second VFO. Elo 3, what is your suffix? 40 meter. I have the 40 meter antenna. You see, it switched as well on the sub VFO. So, if I scroll up with my mouse, it's going up. <laughs> okay, there was a net a little bit earlier. It's 175. Oops, I need to go in lower sideband. Let's wait a little. Condition is not very good, okay? I'm actually on my exterior antenna. Oh, someone's tuning. You can see that on the spectrum. You can also change the color of the spectrum, uh, a changing type. We can take WinRAD as an example. So you will see what you have in WinRAD. Let's zoom a little. Okay. See now. Oh. Okay, I was in lower sideband before. That's why. Oh no, I was just another QSO. What's that? Oh, it's a strong signal. Okay, I'm losing you. I'm going to sign with you now, Chris, because uh, uh, we're kind of losing the connection here. W3CPW from W1GMW. 73s, Chris. Conditional, not very really good. This is local communication. Okay, let's try something else. So let's go. It's on two meters. That now I have an eight. That's an HF antenna, so that's not very really good. Uh, for demonstration. No, it's not very really good. Okay, let's go on. Uh, let's clear it out. Okay. I enter frequency here, so I put, uh, let's say, uh, okay, I'll go to 96, um, 0, 0, 9600, and go to, okay, I just have to make enter, now I switch, then, then I can go to the broadcast, okay, there's a station here, so I'm gonna unzoom, and I'm gonna go into la petite machin. Toi, Nathalie. Ok. Ok, alors concentre-toi. Je vais te poser quelques questions sur la Jamaïque. Vas-y, euh, comme bon te semble. Ok. La Jamaïque, en anglais, anglais Jamaica, est une île de la mer. Jamaica! C'était la première et peut-être la dernière.
Okay, let's switch band. Let's go again on uh, let's try 15 meter. Okay, let's go in upper side band. Uh, okay, oh, I prefer the other settings here. Okay. There's a CW over there. What is that there? It's probably broadcast dish. Digital. Okay. Go back to 20 meters. from my dipole to my Yagi antenna. reflected power or something and every time it flashes over it lays down a little this more carbon good. <laughs> until finally you got enough carbon and it flashes over one time and now unless the overload the transmitter shuts it off you've got a sustaining arc Station's and it'll just keep good. going and keep melting carbon and keep melting feed line and copper and, and i've seen it burn all the way down to the transmitter it'll go down there several hundred feet right down to the top of the transmitter Oh, it's a very frequency. Very expensive to fix. Uh, so that's why you don't want any oh, water in there if you can help. KTC, KTC, RVP, KSI. Okay, but the jet water bend is shortly to leave the wind. This will make him in his. Anyway, when you, when you roll the mouse uh, into the second uh, receiver, uh, sorry, it's not the second receiver, into that window, okay, any spectrum window, it goes by step by 0.5 so it's easy to set up and get on the frequency and I'm envious we need rain so bad down here we're about 10 inches short of where we're supposed to be over okay so that's it for the demonstration so I can, as you can see uh, it's not that bad, you know. You get the, uh, you get this going very quickly um, using the uh, the cookbook uh, and uh, just easy and just enjoy receiving signal and play around. I did not get to know all the function that there's there's uh, available over there, but uh, uh, I know how to use it and pretty well after an hour or two of uh, reading and playing with the uh, interface. So I hope you enjoy. And 73.